okay, I'm posting this video because it's basically impossible to find any information about uh, this knife right here online because um, it's such a rare piece. So um, I'll just go through, and I'm not really going to review it. The this actual knife is kind of a Frankenstein knife. It has a D2 blade on it. It doesn't have the original 390 steel. And I'm not, I don't have special powers, so I really can't tell you the difference between two really good blade steels. So, anyway, um, something I noticed about this knife, I was surprised at the blue color. It's a lot darker than what I saw online, um, or at least a little bit darker. Um, I don't know how to describe it, but it's not as bright. It's still, I think, on the camera, I think it's even coming across brighter than it really is. I mean, I don't know if you know this mini grip chillion, but I brought this out because for a couple of reasons. But uh, one of them, it looks almost white in the pictures. You know, it looks very faded, but it's definitely a dark, like uh, deep, rich yellow color, and uh, that's not showing up on camera either. So you can kind of just assume that all the colors here are darker than what they appear in the um, videos. So this is the uh, Techno against it for size comparison. And the last knife is um, the Presidio, Mini Presidio 525. And something you'll notice, um, these blades are nearly identical. Actually, I think they're, yeah, they're nearly identical. Um, not just the swedge, but there's actually some less blade here. I don't know if you can tell from the picture, but, <clears throat> excuse me. But you can tell the handle size is definitely a lot smaller on the... Uh, 707, uh, 1201. But, well, I'll leave it open. So, I don't have much to say about it. I just wanted to kind of show it off so people could see it. And, um, like I said, this is a different blade. It's still a limited edition D2 blade that usually isn't on here. But the finish is the same on the um, knife that you would get if you purchase it from Matt Shooting Supply. And, uh, you can see black liners, black backspacer. I'm not sure if that's ever shown online at all. Uh, like I said, I I haven't seen much information online at all about this knife. Um, all I have seen is one video for a black one, which is pretty cool, too. I like the satin blade better. Uh, they did make a few more of the satin blade than the black ones. I believe the black ones are all sold out at this point. It's uh, April 2014. So, anyway, size difference um, between the mini grip and the sequel. I mean, sequels are easier to come by than this 707-1201. I'm really taking this video as a purpose to show you that... Um, what the 1201's like, this uh, limited edition, but anyway, you can see it's it almost looks awkward because of the giant blade and uh, the difference in, uh, I don't know if you say difference, but the blade to handle ratio where the blade is much larger than, at least seems a lot larger than many other knives uh, with the same size handle. Um, it almost looks weird because of that, so um, you can see this has a nice big blade compared to the handle size, which is kind of a good thing if you want a really, really small package. Um, I carry stuff, you know, I, I love this size because it fits really, really well in the hand, and, uh, you know, it still has the same size blade um, under three inches. But, um, so that size doesn't even bother me. So, you know, the handle being this short, it's, it's perfect if you're holding it up here, but if you want to grab a hold of that... Uh, Choil or whatever you want to call that thumb ramp there, uh, it makes the handle kind of feel small in the hand. And even though the handle is slightly smaller than a mini griptilian, um, that couple millimeters difference isn't really the issue. What the issue is is that on this knife, the mini griptilian, the thumb ramp actually extends out to the blade, so you can hold your hand in a normal position. But anyway, um, that bothered me the first time I picked up this knife. After that, I mean. Hold like that, get a good grip on it. Uh, hope it don't cut my cat. But um, besides that, uh, oh, kitty. No, get down, get down, get down, get down. Um, anyway, just hold it like that. You know, it's fine in your hand. Uh, plenty of grip. You actually have some despair at that point. But uh, holding it back here, I don't know, you can kind of do it. It's not It's not bad. Three fingers isn't bad at all on a knife, really. But um, the small handle isn't really something that I need in a knife but um as you can see it this looks kind of weird having such a big blade on a little knife but definitely a beautiful blade definitely a beautiful carbon fiber beautiful blue handle um that aluminum holds up really well um i've had this one for a couple months now i don't have a single chip on it which is really nice um i know a friend who had a 940 who 
I mean, he had a wedding ring on, and it'd scratch, you know, it'd come right up against the knife and rub on it all the time, and it still um, didn't really show a mark, so. Uh, nothing that went through to the aluminum, so that was good. Uh, not that it won't go through the aluminum, but, um, you know, it holds up really well, and it feels great. Lots of traction. Uh, the carbon fiber just looks awesome. In per you have to see it in person. I mean, it's carbon fiber, so if you know what it looks like, then you know what it looks like. But, um, really holographic, nice contrast. Uh, love all the black hardware. A black blade is nice. I'm, I don't like black blades in many knives. It would look nice on this knife, but I I really like the satin blade on this knife. So anyway, just another quick look at the knife. Five and a half minutes of me rambling. I don't think I've ever seen a short knife video in the world, and I really didn't even review this knife, so being that I didn't give you any information about it, it's pretty strange that uh, this video lasted so long. So Anyway, like I said, this one's a limited edition in D2. And uh, Parkerized Black Arrow Clip. Um, it was purchased new from the last owner. The blade was swapped out immediately and the knife was never used. Um, anyway, he wanted a M390 blade to match his 710 M390. So, But he, for some reason, didn't like that awesome, awesome handle. So anyway, there you go. That's uh, the comparison of the knives. So once more, as you can see, the difference in size there. Lining up all the handles. Those are all my small knives, so. It may help if I come right over top of them, too, so you can kind of skewed view going on here. So, directly over top, that's what it looks like.